Hi, today we will learn about determination of the amount of dissolved oxygen in a water sample by using hydrometry or we know better as Winkler method. What is Winkler method? The Winkler method is a technique used to measure dissolved oxygen in freshwater systems. The dissolved oxygen is used as an indicator of the health of a water body where higher dissolved oxygen concentration means higher productivity and little pollution. This test is to perform on site as delay between sample collection and testing may change in oxygen content. How does the Winkler method actually work? This method uses titration to determine dissolved oxygen in a water sample. A sample bottle is filled completely with water. The dissolved oxygen in the sample is then fixed by adding a series of reagents that form an acid compound, then titrated with a neutralizing compound that result in color changes. The point of color changes is known as endpoint. Dissolved oxygen analysis is best done in the field. There are few applications for Winkler method. First of all, dissolved oxygen analysis can be used to determine the health or cleanliness of the lake or stream. Secondly, the amount and type of biomass of a freshwater system can support. Lastly, the amount of decomposition occurred in the lake or in the stream. How to sample collection, preparation, analytical protocols and concerns. First of all, dissolved oxygen should be measured as quick and careful as possible. Ideally, samples should be measured in the field immediately after the collection. So we have field collection list. So first of all, we need 2 ml of manganese sulfate, 2 ml of alkaline iodide, 2 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid, 2 ml of starch solution, and lastly, sodium tartrate. Now we move on to the procedure. First, carefully fill a 300 ml of glass biological oxygen demand stopper bottle brim full with water sample. Secondly, immediately add 2 ml of manganese sulfate to the collection bottle by inserting the calibrate pipette just below the surface of the liquid. Squeeze the pipette slowly so no bubbles are introduced via the pipette. As you see in the picture, this is the water sample in the reagent bottle. After that, you need to add 2 ml of alkaline iodide reagent in the same manner. Then, stopper the bottle with care. Make sure no air is introduced. Mix the sample by inverting around 5 times. Check for air bubbles. Discuss the sample and start over if they are seen. If oxygen is present, a brownish orange cloud of precipitate or flock will appear. When this flock has settled to the bottle, mix the sample by turning it upside down several times and let it settle again. As you can see in the picture, the brownish orange cloud of precipitate has been settled down. Then we add 2 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid via a pipette till just above the surface of the sample. Carefully put a stopper and then invert around 5 times to dissolve the precipitate. You can see that the precipitate dissolves and the solution will be clear. After that, in a glass flask, titrate 200 ml of the sample with sodium titrate to a pure straw of color. Titrate by slowly dropping the titrate solution from a calibrate pipette into the flask and continue stir or sealing the water sample. After that, add 2 ml of starch solution so a blue color is formed. Continue titrate until the sample turns clear. As this transparent reach the end point, it will take only one drop to the titrate to eliminate the blue color. Be especially careful that each drop is fully mixed into the sample before adding the next drop. It's sometimes helpful to hold the flask up to a white sheet of paper or white marble to check for the absence of blue color. The concentration of the DO in the sample is equivalent to the number of millimeters of titrant used. Each ml of sodium titrate added in step 6 and step 8 is equal to 1 mg over liter dissolved oxygen. As you can see in the picture, our Utah student is doing the titration test. You can see that we have added starch into the solution. He slowly titrates until it becomes clear colorless solution. 